Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to today's video. So today we got an interesting one for sure. So um, this is only two, three days after we recorded our paint reveal video. So this is pretty interesting. It happened the day of the recording. Uh, so you can see we have the hood up because we're getting some work done. And the reason we're getting some work done is because our turbo blew. So you could check in there. There's no turbo. So I'll explain to you guys what happened. Let's get started. Okay, so before we get started with the rest of the video, first of all, please uh, drop a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell icon, really appreciate it, really helps us keep making these videos. So please do that. And uh, we're rocking the throwback B5S4 shirt. I don't think, uh, no, I can't get these anymore. But uh, rocking the shirt, and uh, let's take a look at what happened. So no turbo in there right now, as you can see. Uh, intake manifolds off, of course. We still have the piping here loosely in. Uh, fueling and all that stuff is still in there um, but uh, we'll show you the turbo because that's really what you want to see so there's our turbo right here precision 5858 and uh, the first thing we'll take a look at is our compressor housing so move the entire thing over to the side take off the housing we're gonna concentrate on this so I'll try to show you as best I can on camera but I can't promise anything because you know focus can be a little uh, shoddy sometimes uh, but we're gonna look into the housing here and uh, hopefully you could see, but there's no wear marks in there. Uh, the housing is pretty clean. Even when you look at the inside, uh, the only thing left in there is uh, oil residue from when uh, the turbo decided to spit oil everywhere. So oil came out from the center rotating assembly, uh, shot itself through here, which is the this is the large port for the uh, anti surge. So you had oil spitting out through here and going back into the housing and. That's how we got our nice large puff of smoke uh, coming out of our exhaust, letting us know that uh, this thing was having an issue. So, um, no shaft play. So we'll start looking at that now. So, compressor side, compressor wheel. Very negligible shaft play. Up and down, there's zero. Crazy. On the other side, so flip this over so we can place it on there. Looking at the other side now, tilt it over for you a bit. You see the bit more shaft play that I could get, you know, torque behind here, so it's making a little more impact, but not much. Uh, there's still no wear, it's still not touching the housing. Um, so, and again, zero up and down play. Now, our issue comes to this, so. Usually when you have a turbo and you try to spin the wheel, you could, you could spin the wheel and it doesn't make this noise. Sorry about the train, <laughs> but this is the noise we're getting now. So that's the noise of some metal on metal contact and I'll get you guys a little closer so you can hear it a little better. So. This is actually spinning better today than it was a few days ago. So this was making a wild noise a few days ago and uh, wouldn't even like move much. So like, there you go, it's getting stuck again. So yeah, it shot. So our turbo is pretty much gone. You know, there's nothing we could do about that. Um, I reached out to Precision. They're gonna take the turbo back. They're gonna inspect it, see what happened. So we'll have an answer as to what made it go pretty soon, I hope. Um, Actually, it probably won't be soon. From what they told me, they're out like four or five weeks. Um, I guess they're really busy. You've got a lot of stuff going on. A lot of people sending back turbos. Hopefully not. Um, but they're a great company. I'm pretty sure they'll stand behind their product and it'll get replaced. But five weeks is too long. Five plus weeks because we'd have to wait uh, for them to ship us out one too if, if it were to get repaired or replaced or you know rebuilt, whatever, or just completely replaced. Um, so way too long. So we had to get a turbo interim, long term, whatever it be, but a turbo. So we got a turbo and uh, let's show you that turbo. So what we got is in this box, <laughs> uh, but we're going to unbox this really quickly. Uh, we'll start by taking these off. I think these should slide. Got that off. That one's going to have to be cut off. That's cut off. Okay. 
Also, no one ever does these, but huge shout out to DHL because this thing got from where it came from, which I'll explain in a bit, to here in three days flat, uh, which is amazing. I didn't have to pay for extra shipping, so shout out to that company again, which again, I'll talk about it in a second. Uh, but this thing got out here in a hurry so that I could get my car back on the road in a hurry, which is amazing. Uh, so let's get back to this. Oh, and also another plug of like, subscribe, notification bell icon. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Appreciate it. Now back to the turbo. So we'll get this cut open here. Probably flashed you guys what it is already. I hope you don't know, or if you do know, it's probably because you've had one of these. So we got a turbo. And we're gonna pull our turbo out of the box. We'll move that off to the side for now. Okay, so that's everything that came in the box. So in here, V bands, oil restrictor, and oil drain gasket. It's nice. And here we have our turbo. So, our turbo is made by Pulsar, uh, which you can see right there. It's very tiny. I hope that's in focus. But we got a Pulsar turbo. And before anybody starts uh, complaining about uh, quality, cheap, all that stuff, we're gonna look over this first, of course, uh, to make sure it's up to my quality standards before I throw it in the car, which I'm sure it will be. Um, we also needed something to get the car running ASAP. So everybody was kind of like out um, when it came to turbo. So, you know, uh, delivery times were, you know, out there weeks away and I couldn't have my car down for that long. Actually, I could have. It's not my daily, but I don't want it down for that long. So I want it back on the road as soon as possible. They made that happen three days. Also, we're going from a journal bearing turbo in the Precision to a dual ball bearing turbo with this new Pulsar. So that alone should add um, a bit more performance, uh, hopefully reliability. Um, I'm not trying to shoot, you know, any uh, bad press at... Uh, precision. So uh, I know a lot of people who've run them and have run them for a while and they've had no issues. I happen to have had an issue and uh, also the car had nothing going on with it. So when I say nothing, like oil feed was checked and pressure was fine. Um, I cranked the engine. I was getting oil through the oil feed. Everything's cool there. The drain is not clogged. It's not, you know, flat. It's a nice incline. Uh, so it's neither of those. So the oil's draining, the oil's getting fed fine. And uh, I wasn't over boosting or anything. So I don't know what could have done it. Um, these turbos are oil cooled only, the precision turbo. So it wasn't like, you know, running a water line would have helped because I couldn't. Uh, so yeah, um, I will be running water on this new one though. And uh, let's get back to opening this up. Okay, so what this is, is uh, pretty much a clone of a GT3076R. Um, it is called a GT3076R. So Pulsar GT3076R Gen 2 ball bearing turbo with a 0.38R on the hot side. So we will take a look at this. So uh, this is not gonna be a fair comparison because this is gonna spin much better than the Precision Turbo because the Precision Turbo is broken. Uh, but that is amazing. Um, already uh, so I'm gonna drop a little bit of oil in here so that thing is oiled up um, and before I keep spinning it or whatever but uh, I'll be back in a sec okay so there's now some oil in the oil feed for this turbo so boom you can see spins great so far of course uh, we'll see how it spins on the car so I'm gonna do a quick turbo comparison because what else would we do so I'll uh, go ahead and remove uh, the compressor housing off of this turbo and catch you guys in a sec okay so now we're checking out our two compressor housings <clears throat> First thing we could tell is that the uh, new turbo has a smaller housing overall. So footprint's just a little smaller, outlet's a little smaller as well. 
uh, something we're gonna have to modify in our you know boost piping just to make sure it all uh, fits correctly um, overall not a huge size difference uh, but definitely a, a difference overall so uh, packaging this should be a little easier than it was to package the 5858 uh, so casting quality is pretty damn good on this so you know no huge imperfections uh, no divots of course no cracks um, interior casting quality looks good too so everything is pretty smooth on the precision uh, quality wasn't bad it's definitely a little rougher uh, than it is on the pulsar turbo uh, especially when we're looking at the inside uh, there's a lot more grain in the casting and uh, much larger seam not saying that that's bad or any of this is bad but definitely much smoother casting on this pulsar turbo than what we see on the precision 5858 we also have the slight difference in design from the uh, inlet so just the way the turbos handle their surge port so we have the drilled look from precision versus the this uh, more Garrett look or the T51 look from the, the Pulsar turbo here. So we'll put these off to the side and check out the rest of the turbos. So we've got the precision here, Pulsar here, move these compressor housings out of the way. Uh, so O-ring looks the same. <laughs> Not that that matters at all. Uh, but we'll make these face the same orientation here. So we have so I have my phone here because I can't remember all these specs, but when looking at the 5858 uh, from Precision, we have a, first of all, journal bearing turbo that is blown right now, so we won't be able to see how it spins, sadly. Now on the compressor side, this turbo has a 58 millimeter inducer, and of course, because that's the name of the turbo, and then a 76 millimeter exducer. So 58, 76, you guys can calculate the trim from there. I actually don't have it written here, so I am sorry. Also forgot to mention that we have an AR of 70 on the compressor housing for the Precision Turbo, so keep that in mind as well. Now, like we mentioned earlier with the Pulsar, we have a ball bearing uh, center rotating assembly, so that's awesome, dual ball bearings. It spins so nicely. Uh, the compressor housing is a 0.60 AR, so the Precision housing actually does outperform it volume wise, so this is a smaller housing like we saw earlier compared to the Precision, also much lighter. On the compressor wheel here, we have a 58 millimeter inducer, um, which is pretty funny because these are the exact same size. So when we're looking at the inducers on these two, same exact size. Exducer here is uh, very similar as well. This one's 79 millimeter, so a little bigger. Um, this is what gives us slightly better flow, so we get a little more coming out of this turbo. Now we're going to flip these over, take a better look at the turbine housings, and compare them further. Okay, so we got a little bit of a sideways look here. Um, maybe I'll angle these a little bit so you have a slightly better view. So on the Precision, we have housing, both V-band, both about the same exact size uh, when it comes to this housing. Uh, this is a 0.2 AR housing on the Precision, a 0.83 AR housing on the Pulsar Turbo, so very similar. Uh, probably not going to be a very noticeable difference there at all. Now when it comes to looking at the wheels here, the Precision Turbo is leaking, so I'll turn it a little bit. Um, see, we definitely had oil in it. It wasn't an oil issue. Now when looking at the turbine on the Precision 5858, we have a just about 58 millimeter exducer on the turbine here. Uh, so it's 57.91 rounded up to 58 millimeter that gives our turbo our name so we have 58 millimeter inducer 58 millimeter exducer precision 5858 the exducer on this wheel is 65 so basically so 64.90 millimeters so now we'll take a look at what numbers we have from the pulsar turbo so on this one now, uh, similar to what we had on the Precision, we actually start uh, with a 55 millimeter wheel, so slightly smaller on the Exducer compared to the Precision. I'll flip these both for you so maybe you can see the slight difference there on camera. Um, and then Exducer wise, we are at 60 millimeters. So overall, much smaller wheel on this side than the Precision, but we have a slightly higher AR. Um, and a lot of you might be asking why I went within smaller turbo in this case and my quick answer to you is actually um i love to drive my car and uh, not saying that the 5858 made the car undrivable because it didn't uh the car drove very well 
um, but this turbo should give me slightly better low end, which is very nice. Um, so I'll be spooling a little earlier. Uh, the turbo will come alive a little earlier. It'll be more fun around town without having to be, you know, at 4,000 RPM ripping it at illegal speed limits. Um, <laughs> not that I do that. Never break the law. Always go the speed limit. But uh, this should make it a little more fun while also making the same, if not a little more power, which will be great. And um, it's also giving me the opportunity to try out this turbo size before I commit to something more expensive come this winter, because that's the next thing. Um, no matter how it goes with the Pulsar, goes well, goes bad, um, hopefully well, uh, we're gonna be upgrading this winter and we're gonna go with a Garrett Turbo or a Zona Turbo. Um, which one? I don't know yet. I'm gonna try out this size, of course, like I just said, see how that works out for us and then we'll go from there. Uh, hopefully this works out well. Hopefully I love this size um, or hopefully, you know, I think it's a little too small and we go bigger. Hopefully I don't need to go any smaller. I don't think I will. But anyways, we'll see how this works out. Hopefully it works out well. You know, you guys will stay tuned to find out, I hope. Um, and that's all we had for you today. So on the next uh, video, we're just going to be installing this thing. Uh, so you'll see me put it on. I won't show you every detail because that gets boring and you guys have seen me put a turbo on before. It's, uh, it's uh, nothing special anymore. So we're going to put it in here, uh, hopefully get the car running. Uh, right now we have to get a three inch to two inch reducer for the piping because three inch piping uh, coming from the turbo on the cold side. So I have to go from this two inch compressor housing now. I might uh, go ahead and just rethink about doing it in two and a half now for the uh, for the hot side of the turbo piping, but we'll see. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. I will definitely catch you guys on the next one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment below, and uh, yeah, stay tuned. Peace.